Uh, Sam Lloyd here, um, and uh, I am back at the Fringe after being here last year with the Blanks um, and uh, Ted Span from Scrubs. And uh, I'm doing a show called Fully Committed here uh, at the uh, Gilded Balloon every day at 545. And uh, Fully Committed is a one-man show. The story of a uh, reservationist who is a guy who takes all the reservations at a trendy New York restaurant. And uh, I play the reservationist as well as everyone that calls in during this nightmare of a day that he has uh, working alone in the uh, reservation office at the bottom cellar of this restaurant and I play myself as well as everyone who calls in and the chef and the maitre d' and the um, hostess and uh, even people that work in the kitchen so I brought this to the fringe um, actually uh, after uh, I was here last year with the blanks uh, I had done this show in the states before and actually one of my bandmates, George, he was like, hey Sam, you know, uh, fully committed my work here because it's a, a one-man show. And uh, a lot of those things here are one-man shows, or at least, you know, comedy, uh, stand-up comedians. This isn't a, a stand-up act, it's an actual play, but um, it's, that's what gave me the initial idea. And then I just kind of floated it by my manager and he, called people we knew here and said, do you think this would, you know, be a good fit? And they said, yeah. And I jumped at the chance because I had just such a great time last year coming here. Um, I thought, wow, what fun to be able to do it again, so. Well, as far as, like, a, a venue for a Fringe Festival, it's just, so beautifully set up and New York has started to do a fringe festival and they would love to be what is going on here but I, there's no way they could do it just because of logistics and, uh, and geography and um, the way things work in the states it's just a, a different thing. This place is just so ideally set up partly I'm, I'm sure because the university has so many uh, you know, spaces that are open in the summer, we, that, that isn't the case in New York. Even NYU has stuff going on in the summer, so they, they could not just clear things out and let people come and remodel their, you know, uh, spaces for theaters. So this, it's just such a unique experience, which is why I came back. I was like, this is great. I was able to, you know, once we got the show up and running, we went out and saw theater every day, and there was all, it was always something different and something interesting, something special, some stuff better than others, but, you know, it, you know, just to get your mind working in a way that I've never had. The only thing that I think is, it's comparable to that I've experienced is uh, the Sundance Film Festival, which uh, isn't theater, but it's film. But it's the same kind of thing where it's a, a town that that uh, has all these kind of venues that they can stick, you know, uh, all these films into, and uh, it's very uh, friendly to people moving around and uh, and being able to to stay there. So that that's the only thing I would say was somewhat had similarities to. But again, that's film and it's not theater. I mean, to me, this, the thing that sticks out to me is that it's, it is a venue for people to be creative and to take chances and to, uh, and to do whatever they can do to get people to see them at the time. The energy is, uh, is palpable and I have never experienced it before and um, to have access to all of this talent and energy and cre creative energy it's nothing like it I mean that's what that's what made me want to come back um, 
It is possible. Um, I'm already, yeah, I've already got some scary ideas about it. So, uh, yeah, it's very possible. Skies are blue.